What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Complex, and we're back at it again with another video. Uh, this is gonna be an unboxing video. I'm trying to keep my content a little bit different, seeing what direction I wanna go with the channel. Um, and we're going from there. So I got a replica shoes from DHgate. These are the NMD R1 uh, men's trainers from DHgate. I got them on a seller for about $35 plus shipping. Pretty cheap. Um, I just want to see what the quality is and the durability and the longevity is of these shoes and just see how they hold up during, you know, training sessions and stuff like that. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel for, you know, more content. I do have music on there. So at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and leave in the, uh, the links in the description below. Just check it out, man. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments. I'm up for constructive criticism. Just let me know. Um, how you guys feel about the channel in general. So with that being said, let's open these up. So they did come in a box. Um, they didn't come with any shoe wrapping. They didn't come in, in a plastic baggie or anything. But this is the shoe. Now you can already see that there's some type of uh, glue residue. And I'll open them up for you. Take them out. Move the box off to the side. Get them out of here. So, that being said, here's the top view. Shoelaces in the way, sorry about that. But, overall, I mean, it's a very lightweight shoe. You can't see that. There is the Adidas stamp on the bottom. And they also have the Boost logo or stamp on the inside. The tag itself on the inside of the shoe is stamped in there. It's like pressed into the actual material. The material itself is pretty soft. Um, definitely not waterproof for sure. Um, here's the Adidas sign. But overall, these are a decent pair of shoes. Uh, let's get that to focus. There we go. The Adidas sign. This doesn't stand up on its own from the ones that I've seen uh, from the actual legit pair. Uh, usually it's just supposed to stick up like that. But um, the seller was quick with the responses. I asked him what kind of colorways they have. Um, and they came back and they sent me a whole list. These are the only ones that I really thought were okay. This little red tab right here, for sure, um, is like a light, lighter red. It's not really a red, it's more so like a pink. Um, but it still matches with the outfits that I choose to wear in the gym. It still works. There are, like I said, some flaws, if you can't see that. There's some glue residue right there and along this line right here along the bottom. Um, but if you're not like this close and paying attention to the shoe, no one's really going to notice that these are knockoffs. Unless you're a sneakerhead and you know like exactly what to look for um, and you want to call somebody out on the shoes. I mean, do whatever you got to do. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> we're trying to work on a budget here, man. And... With that being said, these are a good pair of solid training shoes or running shoes. Um, I have another pair that I ordered from the same seller, not this color, but I wanted to do this color because I think this color is a, a little bit better than the ones that I have. Um, but they are good running shoes. The only thing that I would have to say is when you put the shoe on it, itself, this piece right here, I don't know it's because I have wide feet. Um, it really is uncomfortable until you kind of wear down the shoe a little bit um, and break down the shoe or break it in. Uh, but you can definitely feel it on the outside of your um, bottom part of your foot or your heel. And it's uncomfortable for about, you know, a day or two and then you get used to it and then it actually kind of goes away. The It actually widens up on your heel, which is good. Um, but for around $32 to $35 plus shipping, this is not a bad buy. Again, this is the back. 
and I would say good quality, man. Um, DH Gate recently took down uh, you uploading photos, and it may be because of copyright, you know, uh, issues with that. Uh, but I have recently seen that people have been posting photos on there. So I think it's just with certain type of shoes or certain type of replica items that you get uh, that entire company wants to cover its own butt. So I see why they would want to take away that feature. Um, it is supposed to have, which is kind of awful, but there is a an Adidas stamp here. And it's very, like, as you can see, it's very, like limited to how they stamped it it's it's not even like present like i can see it because it just looks like an outline um but i'm not sure on the real pair are they like this do you guys tell me leave it in the description or the comments below let me know what's up because i don't have an actual real pair so i'm only going off of what i've seen online and like i said uh the boost that's consider what this is and under here, it's not super hard. It's not super soft. It's kind of like just medium. Um, but decent pair of shoe for the price that you pay for the time that you have to wait. I think I waited about two and a half weeks to get these. Um, just regular USPS uh, priority mail here in the US. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want some more shoe reviews? Do you guys want some more music? Um, I do have some retro 10s that I'm actually going to be reviewing here shortly. Um, and I'm actually stoked because they look really cool. Uh, they actually look spot on to the retro 10s. My brother has a pair and I've compared uh, pictures online to what his shoes actually look like. And they're very, very close. Hopefully they come with the box. <clears throat> These uh, will come with the box if you ask the seller. Uh, if you guys do want to know the seller's information on DHgate, go ahead and subscribe or follow me on Instagram. DM me and I will send you the link to their actual page so that you can cop these. Uh, again, great quality pair of shoe. Like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys later.